This is a PS4 which I bought off eBay for £71 plus £10 postage with two controllers. So it comes with a black and a red controller. It does not have an internal storage drive, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't actually say what's wrong with the console. So, not a clue. Not a clue, but we're going to try and fix it anyway. So, for anyone that's watching this as a video, this will make a video because I need some of that YouTube boiler money <laughs> to pay for these consoles. So, anyone that's watching this as a video, I'm live streaming this on Twitch. And if you want to support me, you can head over to Twitch and link an Amazon Prime account to Twitch and then subscribe for free. Really helps me out. Give me that money. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Anyway, enough shilling. <laughs> Let's see what's actually wrong with this. I don't think I actually even contacted the seller on this because there was like a couple of minutes left when I bid or when I spotted it. So I don't think I even spotted, uh, contacted the seller on it. I think I just blindly bought it. So let's just see if we can figure it out, shall we? Apparently it doesn't have a hard drive. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. With over eight years experience in PCB manufacturing, PCBWay is the best choice to get your project up and running. PCBWay offers custom printed circuit boards, flexible circuit boards, CNC and 3D printing. PCBWay are also now proud to announce their new OEM and electronics manufacturing service. From proof of concept to functional prototyping, electronics manufacturing and mass production, they've got you covered. Head over to the link in the video description to learn more about their OEM and electronics manufacturing services or check out their welcome bonus on PCB manufacturing. Thanks PCBWay for sponsoring the channel. Now back to the video. It doesn't. Okay, it does look pretty clean though. And we have no power. Not turning on at all. All right, cool. Not turning on at all. So we're missing a hard drive, but that's not really that much of a problem. A hard drive costs like seven or eight pounds for a 500 gig, which is fine. So I'm not really fussed about that. I just want to see what's wrong with this. It looks like it's been dropped and repaired at some point. Wrong screws, so there's that thread knackered. Arsehole. Pins touching on battery connector. Uh, nah, very unlikely. Um, so, if anyone's wondering what the questions are, I'm responding to chat. So it looks like someone's nicked a screw from there and put it in the case. Not sure why. And that would explain why we've got no power. It's not plugged in. Please tell me that's the only thing wrong with it so I can laugh my head off all the way to the bank. Well, a HDMI cable is not going to power it. So, let's take a look. Is it going to turn on? It is. It's overheating. Beep, beep, beep. I swear that wasn't rehearsed. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> I swear that wasn't rehearsed. It's overheating. Incorrect reassembly? Alright. So it looks like it's been cleaned. Fricka fricka for DJ Colder. Sorry. I'll behave now. Okay. It's had a HDMI port in the past. 
So I will check that out because I don't know how long ago that would have been. Nowhere near enough thermal paste. And that looks like it hasn't been replaced in a long time. Let's inspect this HDMI port first because anyone who incorrectly reassembles it probably didn't do the greatest job on the port. Hmm. Hmm. I said hmm because that one's a bit loose. So, I mean, the port's not bad, but it's not quite right. Look, there's a couple of pins which are not quite right there, but that's not going to take a lot at all to rectify. Realistically, all I need to do is just touch a couple of pins up. So, the theory about it being dropped and repaired is correct. The reason I said that was because there's glue on the case. I might actually... Hang on a second. No, I don't think it needs a HDMI port replacing. It certainly needs the thermal paste replacing, but other than that... Just to touch up on these. So I'll make these pins all look pretty. To make the pins look pretty, just so I know it's done correctly. The port wasn't bad, I'm going to give it a C+. I'll give it a C+, because there wasn't enough solder on any of the pins, so even though some of them was fairly solid, that could have weakened over time. And on top of that, a couple of them was not soldered properly at all, so it's a C plus from me. They say that only God can judge. Well, that's not true, because I am silently judging you. Give it a clean, there we go, beautiful. At least the person who did this had the decency to clean the board. And that's another reason it gets a C plus. If they didn't clean the board, they'd have got a C minus. I'm going to run a couple of tests. I'm just going to check a few things and just make sure my HDMI circuit's good. So I'm going to go into diode mode, and today my multimeter doesn't want to work on the screen, so meh. It is what it is, unfortunately. Oh, shut up, multimeter. Turn that beep off. Oh, we get 0.49. Oh, damn it, you can't even see. I'll do them again. All right. 0.49. Point 0.59, actually, on that one. Ground. God damn it. Point forty nine. Point forty nine. Open line, that's normal. It's pin fourteen, which is an unused pin, because for some reason Sony started pin one on the right hand side on these and put the port upside down. Point forty nine. Point forty three. That's a ground, so I'll ignore it. Point forty three. Point forty three. God damn it. That's a ground. Point forty three. Point forty three. Point forty three. I'm expecting these ones to be a little bit different. Actually, no, they're the same. All right, fair enough. Point forty three and point forty one. Uh, that's a little bit concerning that this one is 0.41 and the other ones are 0.43. Now, 
Now I'm just going to check for bridges. So I'll go into continuity mode, and this time I do want the beep on. I'm not actually checking for bridges, I'm checking for continuity on the filters, so on all of the differential pairs. And then these ones I'll just check for bridges. Good. Alright, they're all fine. That's all good. And I'm happy that the port is now soldered nicely. Let's just have a look at the back legs. Acceptable. Mm, actually, I'm not a fan of that jolly green giant blob there. Not a fan of that blob. Not a fan of the blob. Mm. That also looks to me like cheap ass solder. There we go. That's a little bit, a little bit better, I would say. So yeah, I'm happy now that we're good to go on the port. All of the pins are testing fine. Doesn't appear to be any issues with the HDMI circuit. It doesn't appear as though the encoder has been taken off, or rather the shield for the encoder. That appears to be factory. However, there is a little bit of melting on that Ethernet port, so they're going to be downgraded to a C- on this. They're going to be downgraded to a C- for the melted port. I think that's fair. And they're going to be downgraded to a D for the double thermal pads because that's why it's overheating. Now we have our answer. Double thermal pads, no good. Because if you put double thermal pads, then you're creating more distance between the APU and the heatsink. So a big thank you for the free thermal pads. I really, really appreciate that. However, you're not doing yourself any favours by putting two thermal pads on. In fact, you are causing yourself major problems. So why there's double thermal pads, I don't know. I do not have an answer to that because there's thermal pads on the top plate. So, yeah, I'm really not sure. Really not sure. They're definitely the, one, definitely the ones from the back. No, there's pads on the back. There's pads on the back, mate. I'm not sure how they've ended up with two lots of pads on there. But they're not doing themselves any favours. And now they're going to get downgraded to a D- minus for using toothpaste as thermal paste. It's not toothpaste, but it is cheap thermal paste. Cheap thermal paste, no good. This white thermal paste is actually designed for... Um, like, I think it's designed for like ICs and stuff. So let's get rid of all of that crap. And let's try and wash it all away, shall we? So it might make a little bit of a mess on the desk, but I'd rather have a clean board. So I can always clean the desk. Ah, oh, damn it, my thermal pads have come off. Well, let's just get them off for a minute then. Just so I can clean up on the board itself. And let's put some of the best damn thermal pasta that money can buy on here. And this one? It's all mine. This is the best damn thermal pasta money can buy. You, you can't get better than this. Take my word for it. The packaging don't lie, alright? The packaging does not lie. If anyone says it does, they're a liar. 
nice MX4. This is an MX4. No, this is custom thermal paste. The best damn thermal paste that money can buy. It's not MX4. Stop telling everyone it is. Because that's a lie. You liar. You're lying to me. You're lying to everyone. It's not MX4, it's a secret blend. Okay. And it's a trade secret, so I cannot tell you. Sorry. Hmm. Still got a little bit of IPA on them thermal pads. They will dry over time. It's fine. MX5 is out now. Yeah, but it's crap, mate. It's too runny. MX5 is too runny. Well, all righty then. Let's get that back together. And, uh, yeah, as you can see... There's thermal pads there, so how they ended up with double thermal pads, I'll never know. That must mean that either someone got another console which they couldn't fix and they've took double thermal pads and thought, oh no, I'll keep the RAM cool rather than the APU. Or, or, it's gone to a shop who've got thermal pads spare. Probably a phone shop. Because phones and console repairs don't go hand in hand. And they just assume that they can fix them. No offence to any phone shop owners. <laughs> no, mo most phone shop owners can actually fix them, but there are certain ones that just can't. But, yeah. C certain phone shops, they just assume they can fix them because they can change a bloody screen. So, yeah, I'll fix your console for you. I changed an iPhone screen once. Why is he wearing a coat in the house? I'm going to your mum's afterwards, mate. Just got myself ready. Need to go and see your mum. So as soon as I finish here, I'm driving down to your mum's house. Hashtag sorry, bro. Oh, sorry, that was for you, not that. There you go. I'll be good now, I promise. Right, well that is now booting into safe mode without overheating. So, wait. And we got a white light. Display. I said display, you prick. Aww. Aww. Try cleaning the cable. Who's getting the famous finger? Duns, I've got it, mate. Did I jinx you? HDMI not working. No, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. There's no such thing as jinxes. Sorry. No such thing as a jinx. Looks like we might have to replace the encoder. We might have to replace the encoder. Encoder gone poof. <laughs> it's alright mate. Your mum said she'll wait up for me. <laughs> Let's change the encoder so I can go and see Dunzard's mum. Cause Dunzard's mom, she's got it going on. She's all I want, and I've waited for so long. Dunzard, can't you see that I'm gonna be your daddy? I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Dunzard's mom. <laughs> 
Everyone get the heart tate in chat for Dundas, Mom. Just checking these filters. All good. Filters are all good. So, it's time to replace the HDMI encoder. Which absolutely sucks because that means now it's just cost me money. These encoders are stupid money. Yeah, not for me. I'll get them quite cheap. Right, encoder removed. Off alley. No, I'll get them from donor boards, mate. So, I've got a hard drive there, which I've just took out of a donor console, and then on top of that, I've got the board. I wasn't exactly gentle taking that off, by the way. It is a donor board after all. Uh, one thing I do like to do whenever possible with the encoder, when I'm taking one from a donor board, I like to use low melt solder to remove it because it's just a lot safer than putting direct heat on it. Oh good, thanks uh, CDB. How are you mate? Is that upside down? Uh, they are on the board, yeah. Um, but it's not an issue. But that's how they're meant to be. Right, so I need to wick away all of this low melt so I'm going to add flux so I'll wick away the flux because I don't want it to affect the solder that I'm putting on My darling cat won't milk for a tickle. <laughs> nice. Right, yo. Damn it. Well, I didn't want that to happen, but it's fine. I can rectify that in a minute. I just uh, accidentally bent a pin. So the way that I'll do this now is just to tack down the corners, and then I can drag solder it once that's done.
There we go. So now that I've got some corners tacked down, all I need to do, it's going to be nice and quick, that's what she said. Drag solder all the way down. Thank you, uh, CDB, for subscribing, mate. I really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Trying to work out, work tweet out, I normally just watch on YouTube, this is very different. Yeah, it is a lot different, yeah. It is, um, to be fair though, you, the, the latency is a lot better on Twitch. Right, a lot better. One of the main reasons I like Twitch is because... It's a good platform to actually stream to, and in terms of like, this is going to sound really, really selfish, but in terms of um, revenue, people are more inclined to support the channel when it's on Twitch because it's free for them to support, for them to support it. So if people have got Amazon Prime, they can link it to Twitch and become a subscriber, like a paid subscriber for free which benefits them because they get no ads even when I run an advert they don't get an advert so it benefits them but at the same time they get um, like it supports me and if they've got Amazon Prime then it's completely free so it's a lot more lucrative for people to help out so I do like Twitch uh, in terms of live streaming but I like YouTube more for the community because YouTube's chat is a lot more chilled. YouTube's chat is a lot more chilled. How come when I do that it leaves too much solder and bridge everything? Um, maybe the tip that you're using or maybe just not enough flux, not enough heat on the soldering iron. Um, there's, there could be several reasons to be honest. It just takes practice really more than anything to do that. Well, drag soldering, when you get it down, it can be it can be achieved pretty nicely and successfully every time. So what I always do when I've finished that is I use a cheap iron. Yeah, it could be losing heat then. What I always do is just zoom in and just inspect all of these pins one by one and just make 100% sure that they're all soldered. And more importantly than that, none of them are bridge because you really only get one shot on these. And you can tell, you don't need to give these a nudge test. You can tell when they're soldered. But you can tell that, see, like there, for example, there's a bridge. Like I wouldn't have seen that if I'd have just looked at it zoomed out. Like, just looking at it like that. Oh, actually, you can. All right, then, fair enough. But then again, now I know where I'm looking, so... Yeah, sometimes you do get a little bridge. Uh, do you also earn from Twitch? Yes, I do, mate. Indeed, um, because I'm YouTube, because I'm Twitch affiliated. Um, people can subscribe, um, and I do earn from that. So for everyone that subscribes on Twitch, whether it's Twitch Prime or whether it's a paid sub, whether whether I've paid for it or a gifted sub, I get two fifty dollars. Two dollars fifty for everyone that does it. So he does massively help out. Um, and like you think, like if there's, I mean, I've got a hundred and let me have a look. Uh, I think it's a hundred and sixty something subscribers on Twitch. One hundred and sixty six. Uh, one hundred and sixty six subscribers on Twitch. 
as in like prime prime or either prime subscribers or the paid subscribers. Um, there's not many paid subscribers. There's there's a few, but not many. Um, most of them are Twitter Prime, but I get two fifty three to them. So it does help out. Making sure there's no bridges. Good. Awesome. That is good with me. Don't worry about the ground pad being slightly lifted where the um, shield connects. It's completely normal. It always happens. We'll have to give it another try. Yeah, if you... It's not that hard to become Twitch affiliated. I mean, I'm almost at partner level, but I'm not going to be I'm not going to become a partner there's too many limitations it's a lot more relaxed if you're a affiliate behind the flux capacitor <laughs> yeah. I should have left that bridge there just to troll people Just to troll people. Just to troll people. Just because I can. Okay? Just because I can. Mic check. Hello. Sorry, guys. Mic slide. Nice knowing your mic. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. Don't know what the last thing I said was before the mic died. But... There we go. I hate resoldering these things. Hate resoldering these things. Somebody about making us order coffee. <laughs> Does anyone know if the SSD controller on a PS5 is paired? As far as we're aware, yes. But we don't know 100% yet. We're not 100% sure. Yes, yeah, so I, I was attempting a swap, but I haven't finished it. Don't think I'm going to get to that one, but it's not a big deal. As long as it's the same as this one, I think it's pushed over slightly too far. But it's not a big deal as long as I've actually soldered it down, so it's nice and solid. Um, the shield's there and the gap's under it anyway, so it doesn't make a difference having those little edges not soldered on. As long as it's on there, it's going to be doing what it's meant to do, and that's to provide... Um, EMI shielding, so electromagnetic interference shielding. That's literally all it's there for. It's not there for any kind of grounding or any kind of heat sink or anything like that. It's literally just for EMI shielding, so I will leave it as it is and not worry. It's soldered on both sides and that's the main thing. Happy, happy days. Right, it is 3.50am, so I'm going to give this a quick test and then I'll call it good in terms of the repair as long as it's working and if not I'll continue it tomorrow add a little bit of thermal pasta because I've disturbed it even though it was literally the perfect amount so yeah so far this has had well pretty much 50 quid worth of parts which is rather annoying because it means I'm not going to make money on this console I'm actually going to lose money which sucks I don't think actually. I, actually, I don't think I'll lose money because there's two controllers with it. The controllers do need repairs, or there should be two controllers with it. The controllers do need repairs, but you know they're not going to cost much to fix. But with the two controllers, I can sell it with one and then sell the other controller to make a little bit of extra money, and then hopefully 
we're all good and we won't lose money but realistically £10 hard drive, £5 caddy, that's £15 plus a £40 encoder that's £55 plus AT, that's £135 that, that, that this console had which sucks but it is what it is alright, let's have a look and see if it displays It does. Awesome. It does indeed. So let's connect up a controller, see what software it's on. 25 USD. Version 8, winner. We can sell it for more. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. Right, okay. Well, this is going to go on to software version 9. So I'm going to download 9.0. So I can sell this for more as um, potentially exploitable. If I can find a USB, there it is. Format using FAT32. New folder. PS4, new folder again called update, copy that over, why is your C drive so full, um, media files mate. That's why they're going to be moved over to my other drive. And then we're going to rename that to PS4 update.pup. Ready. Connect up the USB and the controller. And let's just hope that's the right disk drive. Right, I'm going to start screwing screws back in this. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to run through that initialization. And um, while that's running through, I'm going to start putting screws back in. It does sound really silent though. It sounds absolutely awesome in terms of uh, cooling. Now on 29%. Can we watch the update? You can now, yeah. You can now. So yeah, it'll just run through this and then um, I'll just test the disk in it, make sure the disk make sure the disk works, make sure it picks up my Wi-Fi. Um not gonna check if it's banned or not because it's an exploitable console and I, I need to log in to be able to do that. Um, so I'd need to update it to 9.6, so, actually no, it's, it's 10 now, isn't it? Well, yeah, the last one of these I sold for 150 a couple of days ago, so, I'll get a little bit more for this one. I haven't even checked to see if there's a free disc in it, probably not, but... Yeah, right, that's running through updating system storage. Nah, no free disk. I have no idea about such things. Uh, well, I don't really mess with updates my, with uh, exploits myself. I don't care as long as I sell for more. <laughs> Why would they pay top dollar for a PS4? The exploitable ones are paying top dollar for. They're paying about 140, 150 quid for a uh, pound, that is. So around about $180 for an original PS4. Um, and I know that they're buying them because the one I sold on eBay a few days ago went to a, an international shipping container. So, yeah, it's definitely um, definitely going over to Africa. They can install downloaded games on it. Yep, they can indeed. Right. It works on wireless controller. Q. 
kill networking straight away. Yes, I know, mate, yeah. I will connect to the internet just to make sure. I'll skip the camera. 14 for the knife at 438. Uh, not quite the right time, but... Yeah. Right. System, automatic downloads, we're going to disable that. Let's disable that as well for application update. And let's just enable, uh, disable HDCP. And then I can go like. This. Boom. Check that out. And then, yeah, that's uh, allowing me to capture it now. So it's all working absolutely beautifully. Uh, let's go to system information. Yeah, PS4 system software 9.00. Working beautifully. Right, let's test the disk drive. That goes in nicely. Boom. Update later. Just make sure it boots into a game. It does. Okay. That'll work for me. I'm happy. Just a little heat, yeah. Nah, I'll be alright. Stuff it. No more of a deterrent than anything. Right. Yeah, another one done. Um, so I paid £80 for this. Uh, did need a hard drive and sadly needed in cold air, which they are pretty expensive, but. Oh well, never mind. Um, I mean, that encoder I didn't pay anything for, and the same as the hard drive I didn't pay anything for. So, technically, it didn't cost me anything, apart from the time. But, at the same time, I could have sold that encoder for £40, or I could have um, used it for another job to get paid. So, yeah, technically I'm going to break even on this. I'm not going to make any money. But, it's another one saved from landfill, I suppose. And at least, at least it wasn't too bad. So new encode out, new hard drive, touch up the HDMI port, and replace the thermal paste, and it's done. Uh, yeah. So like I said, I have been live streaming this on Twitch, but it is going to make a video. So if you are new to the channel and you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I will get my words out. Um, it's four twenty-two a.m. I think I can get a pass. <laughs> um, yeah, and also head over to Twitch and become a Twitch Prime subscriber by linking an Amazon Prime account and then subscribing to the channel. It massively helps me out. And uh, also give the video a thumbs up while you're at it. So thank you very much for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.